Hey all dear sons, let's see this very challenging problem of electrostatics from Pathfinder. It's a check your understanding question number 24. Question states two neutral particle like identical metal balls each of uh, radius small r and mass small m are connected by a light inextensible conducting thread of total length capital L. The balls are held in free space with a separation between the centers equal to small l. Small r as well as small l are very very small compared to capital L. Now, everywhere a uniform electric field directed along the line joining the center is switched on. And uh, balls are released from rest. We have to find the maximum speed of the balls in subsequent motion. So, this is the picture. These two are the identical conducting balls, same mass, same radius, connected by a conducting thread. Total uh, length of the thread is capital R. The initial distance between the center is small l. They are neutral. Net charge is zero, but there are a lot of free electrons. Now, a uniform electric field E is switched on like this. The direction of electric field is along the line joining the centers. What this electric field will do? Electric field, uh, this thing first of all try to think just as a one single conducting system. Lot of electrons are there and the conductor electric because of the electric field the free electrons will migrate and the opposite to the electric field. So all the free electrons will keep on migrating here, but they cannot go any further from here. So there will be accumulation of negative charge. But the system is neutral. So if there is a minus Q charge here comes, so plus Q charge will be there. But there is a one thing that uh, the two things will happen simultaneously. As because of the polarization, the negative charge here and positive charge will accumulate here. Immediately because of the electric field, a force will also act on them. On plus Q, there will be force in the direction of electric field QE and on the negative charge in the direction opposite to QE. So as the force will act and they are free to move, the string is not creating any tension that is slack. So they will start moving opposite to uh, each other and the separation between them increases. And at the same time, there is a built up of induced charge. So and the speed is also increasing because of the force by the electric field. So first of all, what we'll do, we'll try to find the uh, induced charge as a function of their displacement from the starting position. So now, this is a new position. The each ball, they are identical, so the motion would be symmetrical. So each ball uh, have moved by a distance x opposite to each other, obviously, from the starting position. And now on this position, the uh, induced charge on ball A is say minus Q and symmetrically induced charge on this ball B is plus Q. This whole thing is a one single conducting system. So potential at all points are same. So when we say potential or same mean because of all charges. So we can say that the uh, potential of A and potential of B are same. So VA minus VB is zero. So VA minus VB is zero means VA minus VB into everything because of the electric field and because of also the induced charges. So we can write uh, this V A minus V B zero because of the electric field and plus because of the induced charges. So uh, let me write the potential because of the induced charges. If I write the potential of A, so that potential will be uh, because of its own charge and also because of the charge on the B. So because of its own charge, that will be uh, one upon four pi epsilon naught uh, charges minus Q. So minus Q by R. And the other charge at, uh, at B that is a very far far away from A because that L is uh, very large compared to its radius. So the effect of potential of this charge on A would be negligible. And the same way I can write the potential of the uh, this B because of induced charge. So that will be 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R. Now, VA minus VB because of this electric field. So, because of the electric field uh, as electric field is in this direction, so potential increases in the opposite direction. The uniform electric field PD between two points is the, and the line of electric field is the delta V is equal to E into distance between them. And obviously, potential of A would be more compared to B because it is opposite to E. So, VA minus VB because of the electric field is a magnitude of electric field E into separation between them that is a L plus 2x so that is a E into L plus 2x and now potential of A uh, this is actually B potential of A is a minus 1 upon 2 4 pi epsilon naught q by r and B is 
q upon 4 pi epsilon naught r so v a minus v b because the induced charge is equal to uh, minus q divided by 2 pi epsilon naught r so now just simplify this uh, for q if i simplify i will get uh, q divided by l plus 2x is equal to 2 pi epsilon naught r small e i can also write q is equal to 2 pi epsilon naught r small e l plus 2x uh, see very good thing that as they move further and further away from each other this q increases the built up of q is more as they move more so that is proportional to x so that now now that we have got the expression for the induced charge as a function of their displacement from the equilibrium position now at this general position uh, let's see uh, what has happened we have got the charges now the forces on either ball so let me take the system of b so here the forces on b is the number one the force because of the uh, charges on each other that is the minus q will exert a force attractive force and that force is f electric and this electric field also exert a force q e and they started from here initially rest and from here to here they have traveled a distance x so it will get some velocity v and the similarly because they have same mass so a will also get the same velocity in the opposite direction like this so i want to apply the work and the theorem on either ball to get the velocity as a function of x for that let me calculate this f electric first so f electric is the magnitude of f electric is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught uh, product of the induced charges divided by square of the separation between them so 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q square divided by l plus 2x whole square and this q upon l plus 2x is 2 pi epsilon naught small r e just if i put this i will get 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught 2 pi epsilon naught small r e whole square and just a little bit of arrangement i will get pi epsilon naught r square e square a uh, very good observation is that important observation is that this force between these two though this q is changing with x x the separation is changing but the amount of the coulomb attraction between them is a constant that is a very good thing so now we've got the charge as a function of x and the electric field uh, electric forces uh, because of the either charges and another forces q so we can proceed to apply work and e theorem on either ball let's say take on ball b to get the its uh, velocity as a function of x so that we all we got all these things so now applying work and e theorem on ball b change in kinetic energy is equal to work done by all forces started from position uh, of rest and traveled a distance x along this direction got a velocity v so change in kinetic energy of b is half mv square and uh, work that is equal to work done by this electric field and plus work done by a electrostatic force that is a coulomb force this electric field force is a variable force the electric field force qe that is variable because of this q is variable and this f electric w electric this is a constant because this sorry this work is not constant this this force is constant so that is a work done by constant force and this is a work done by variable force so for this work i will write integration of this force into dx from 0 to x so that I will write the force QE and the displacement, a little displacement DX during that little displacement DX, the work done is QE DX. So for the whole displacement from 0 to X, the work done is integral QE DX from 0 to X. And this F electric is a constant and this is opposite to displacement. So work done by this F electric is minus F electric into X. Now let's go to X page. So we got this thing so far and q is this f electric is this so in this integral i will write the value of q that is a variable thing so here you can see that 2 pi epsilon naught r is a constant that will be outside and from here this is a constant that will also take outside the integral so that will become 2 pi epsilon naught r e square with an integral that is a l plus 2x and dx it will have to be integrated from 0 to x and this thing just put the value of f electric that will become pi epsilon naught r square e square and x 
and integrate this with this integration of l is lx and integration of 2x is x square and now a little bit of arrangement from both side i can take pi epsilon naught r e square common pi epsilon naught r e square is also here pi epsilon naught r square e square here so from here 2 into lx plus 2x square and from here uh, this is 1r will be there and x rx and uh, again x is everywhere so i can also take x outside this bracket so that will be pi epsilon r e square into x 2l plus 2x minus r and that is half mv square so what we got we got a velocity as a function of the displacement of the either ball and now let's see the the situation again that was the initial situation both were rest and electric field was switched on so they started moving in the opposite direction and the uh, separation keep on increasing so clearly because of this built up of charge this q is proportional to x the speed will keep on increasing but uh, that will be keep on increasing only when the just before the string get taught because just after string get taught there will be jerk there will be impulse and immediately after they will come to rest so clearly the velocity will be maximum when the strings are just before the string getting taught total length of the string is capital L and this length is small l so uh, here from here to here this is capital L this is small l so this length will be capital L minus small l by 2 so I can say that v is max just before the string getting taught mean uh, x when the x become capital L minus small l by 2 the string will um, just become taught and at that time velocity will be maximum we got the velocity as a function of x now it's a just matter of putting the x to be capital L minus small l by 2 to get the maximum velocity and this I'm writing that half mv max square that is a pi epsilon naught small r e square and this x I have written capital L minus small l by 2 and 2l in place of small x again I have written uh, capital L minus small l by 2 so 2x was there that will be L minus small l minus r and further simplification that will be this capital L minus small l by 2 is here and that will be capital L plus small l minus r and now let me take this capital L minus small r into this inside this bracket so that will become capital L square minus small l square and this will become small r into capital L minus small r and now just rearrange this half and half will get cancelled so v max will become pi epsilon naught r e square by m and that whole thing that is inside this curly bracket and the everything will have to be taken the square and that's that will get our that will be our final answer thank you